Assalamu alaikum, this is Sadali Say Network and Grace Fair Administrator. Session 3 of Network X Network in Bootcamp. Today is Wednesday, 14 December 2022. So let's start session 3 now. I am going to share the screen. Kindly mute your mic, please. Muhammad Saleh, kindly mute your mic. So let's proceed further. Yesterday we have talked about software, system software, and application software are two types of software. So, node, node mean device. There are two types of nodes. One is known as end device, and second is known as intermediate device. So, look at this. These are some examples of personal computers PC. So this is PC person computers example okay in a network like this is a lane this is a lane and this is the internet network like different networks so PC is end device why because to PC we can send and receive message if you talk about server server is also end device why why server is end device because it sends message as well and as receive message as well to internet with clients client can be laptop so end device can be laptop as well to internet these laptops can communicate with the server they can request for the services and server can give them services so giving and requesting is also known as sending and receiving so that's why these both are what end devices another thing is this one router lanes which multi layer switch and what ip sorry firewall hub wireless access point wireless router these are what which kind of node which kind of device intermediate node intermediate device but if we talk about this one desktop computer laptop server ip phone then these are what end nodes or end points or end devices so let's proceed further look at this end devices like workstation laptop server mobile mobile means smartphone macbook these are what end devices let's discuss about the operating system which can be installed on these end devices for example we talk about workstation so on our session we can install Linux as well as Windows. Windows is GUI based operating system and Linux is CLI based operating system. Okay. So another is laptop. Laptop is also an device. And on the top of laptop hardware, which is client hardware, we can install what operating system. Which one? Linux as well as Windows. Windows graphical user interface base and Linux is command line interface base operating system. Server is also end device because through server we can send and receive message data and on server we can install Linux and Windows. Yesterday I think I have discussed about this. Let me show you. Look at this. Yesterday I have Make you clear on this point. This point that the uh, server is end device, and on server we can serve what Linux as well as look at this server. On server we can install which operating system Linux as well as Windows. Look at this. I made you clear yesterday that on server hardware, like these are server hardware, we can install Windows as well as Linux. But the Linux operating system is same for the client hardware and the server hardware. But window operating system is different for server and client. For client it is window client and for server it is window server. Another is mobile. So 
in mobile there are two types one is android and second is iphone so on the top of iphone hardware you can install it ios in iphone operating system and on the top of android surely you will install it android operating system another is macbook on the macbook you can install what mac operating system mac os mean mac operating system you can install mac os on what on macbook so these were end devices and their operating system which can be installed on the top of these hardware which are known as end devices another is operate mean chalana in urdu we say chalana ye chalao so what is this how to check operating system of end device the task is how to check operating system of end device first check end device name चलिए एक काम करते हैं लाइक आई हैव टोल्ड टू द उर्दू स्टूडेंट्स दैट चलिए एक काम करते हैं सो व्हाट डज इट मीन इट मींस दैट लेट्स स्टार्ट द टास्क सो हाउ फर्स्ट चेक एन डिवाइस नेम सो हाउ लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल माय लैपटॉप स्टेप 1 इज फर्स्ट चेक एन डिवाइस नेम सो व्हाट इज माय एन डिवाइस नेम माय एन डिवाइस नेम इज व्हाट लेट मी कंफर्म इट Look at this. You studied about end devices and their operating system. So the task is that uh, you should find the operating system of your end device. This is the task. But the main thing is that first of all you should know that uh, which hardware you have. So that is which kind of end device. For example, I have laptop. So my end device is laptop. So now I'm coming to chat box and everyone answer me in chat box that. Uh, on which hardware you are online now that is which end device tell me the name hurry up i am in chat box waiting for your messages just message me don't unmute your mic and if someone doesn't answer it means that they are not attentive they are not giving attention to the lecture wrong answer the second one is right windows is not an device laptop yes i have also a laptop so first of all you should know that what is your device name what is your end device name so the name is laptop and another one is pc oh sorry pc that's okay no problem so in 13 members just three members answered i think all are sleeping Okay, time is finished. So now let's proceed further and laptop good. So I also laptop. So the task is task. The basic task you should perform that uh, on your end device you should find that which operating system is now available you have installed. So let's start working on this task. First check end device name. So we have all have checked. Personally, individually, that what is our new end device name? Someone says lip, said laptop. Someone said PC. So my end device name is laptop. So we can see here that uh, on laptop there are two operating system that can be installed: Linux and Windows. So look at this: Linux and Windows. So it means that on my end device there would be one operating system: Windows or Linux. So let me find that is it Windows or Linux? Okay. Right click on this PC. so go to this tab first of all and right click on this pc after this go to properties look at this what go to properties let me open it again So what is the step? Right click on this PC and go to properties. I click on properties as well. Search word of Linux or window. Which would be found it? That would be your end device operating system. Okay, okay, okay. Let me search various Linux or window name. If it appear, it mean that on my operating system there is just one operating system. So what is yes Windows? 
Windows 10, Windows, Windows. It means that on my operating system, on my hardware, laptop hardware, which is end device, there is which one operating system? Windows. Windows 10, Windows 10 means window client. On client hardware, like laptop, it is installed, not Linux one. And answer found it window yes window successfully completed this task so now we are going to perform this task on your end devices so first of all give me answer in chat box that who is going to share his screen for this lab because i have already made you clear that how to perform this lab so who is ready to share his screen and perform this lab in front of all of us so who is ready? Is anyone ready to share the screen? Then give us answer in chat box. Yes. So Richard, you can share your screen. I am going to stop share my screen. Kindly unmute your mic and describe as well which step you perform. Richard, your screen is not visible to us. Now it's visible, now it's visible, yes. Kindly unmute your mic and go to the lab. I think you have some problem, you cannot do this lab. If you cannot do them, we will proceed further. Okay, and you didn't see the steps that I uh, showed? No, no, we haven't seen. Oh, so, um, stop sharing. I did, well, uh, your entire screen. Okay. Um, you're seeing my screen now? Yes, 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 yes. Now start. Okay. My PC. Okay. Properties. You will get this uh, window. The properties of the. Let me see. Windows 10 Professional. Windows yes. 10 Pro. Yes. Okay. The task Good. is completed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll stop sharing now. Good. Thank you okay. so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for giving us time. So now let's let's proceed further. You can you can mute your mic, please. So now let's proceed further. Let me share my screen. Now let's move further. What does mean by resources? The word resources. Resources mean like RAM, ROM, HDD, SSD, CPU, etc. So it means resources. So look at this now. HDD is mean hard disk drives and SSD mean solid state drives. So without operating system hardware is known as dumb device. It means that, for example, like uh, let me 
dry it on the paint so then you will know what does it what does i mean like look at this For example, this is how we are working, and I install operating system. And I install some specific applications for my workload to be managed on the top of operating system. So this is the best solution, but the thing is that for example, without operating system, like I mean it for example on the top of hardware, I don't install operating system. So what does this device mean? Means dumb device. Look at this. So, if someone asks you only hardware, no operating system, no application, what does it mean? So, you should say it is not end device, it is what? Dumb device. And if someone asks you that there is operating system and proper applications installed on operating system, so what is this? You should say end device. So, this is the difference between end device and dumb device. Let me make another difference here. Look at this. For example, this is the name of PC, PC Day 01. This is the name of PC, which is PC Day 02. And this is the name of PC, which is PC Day 0. For example, these both are connected with each other. Okay. Through wired connectivity, okay. Wired connectivity. So remember, for wire connectivity, there should be port available as well. Except of port, they cannot connect with a wire. So behind port, there is a device known as what? There is a device. Known as what? Wired NIC. Wired Network Interface Card. And in this PC as well. So, to RD45, here RD45 connector and here RD45 connector, these cables are plugged into that port. And through wired NIC, these while connectivity can be possible. After this, they can communicate with each other by some kind of protocols, for example, IP protocol, internet protocol, which is also known as logical address of layer 3. So the main concern is that uh, these devices are known in network as a host. These devices in a network are known as host. This is also known as host. But this is not host. This is something else. This is known as standalone device. Why? Because it is 
it cannot be connected with another device and even it is not so that's why it's it is standalone device but it is end device as well and these devices are also end devices all are end devices remember all are end devices why because end devices doesn't concern with the network remember this point end devices doesn't concern with the network because end device means that the uh, hardware on which on the, on the top of hardware which uh, operating system you install which application you install so that is end device because if applications are installed then you can communicate through that application for example you install web browser google chrome so through google chrome you can open whatsapp for example or facebook and you can communicate with anyone in the world so that's why this is end device so all are end devices but the host means that uh, the device through which we can assign ip and through ip they can communicate in the network so that is known as host so this is not host because it is not connected so it ha it hasn't ip and these two are host why because it has ip and through ip they can communicate with each other like uh, for example if you want to understand it really so let me make you clear about this I need some requirements for to perform this lab. Okay, so if someone have these require have these things, so they can tell me. First of all, I need mobile phone. So for example, there is a man, these participants who will turn on the camera of mobile phone and share his screen, and through mobile phone he will show us his laptop or PC, and what I will say he will perform the those steps. So who is ready? Can someone tell me? To do this task because if i will do then you know in that task uh, there is a step that you should disconnect with internet so if i will disconnect with internet then you all will not be available in my session and i will i would also be disconnected from the session so that's why i cannot perform if you people can perform then kindly respond me in the chat box i am waiting Can you uh, repeat the the task again? What what we should do? I mean, you should just share the screen of your mobile phone and turn on the camera, and you should show us your laptop through that camera. And what I will say, you you will perform on your laptop. If it is not possible, then we should proceed further and skip this lab. Let's try. Let's proceed further. I think uh, yes, I have yes. some difficulties. I have some difficulties. Uh, I see nobody is uh, uh, trying. So yes, we should proceed further. I think. Yes, let's proceed further. Yes, we should skip this lab because if this lab would perform, then that would be better for all of you. You will understand clearly. But uh, if someone understand on this diagram, that that is enough for them because they can do it practically as well. But uh, if there will be a vertical, then that would be a plus point. So let's proceed further from this. System out. Sí. Kindly mute your mic. Ah, bueno, si quieres dejarlo pasar, por favor. Gracias. Now let's proceed further. So. Another one is SSD and HDD. HDD is the storage device, stand for hard disk drives, and SSD is also the fastest storage device, just known as solid state drives. You bought laptop for market, for example. For example, you bought plan device, which is known as laptop from market. And laptop have no OS, so it is known as dumb device. I've already explained it. Now let's proceed further. Skip this slide. And let's come to this one. Yes. What is OS? OS stands for operating system. 
which means that this software operate the system so simply it means that it is a system software because system software is also software which run the system so if it operates the system it means it run the system so it is system software which takes resources from hardware directly and applications and services are running on operating system it operates the entire system what does it mean it means like uh, let me show you the study diagram which was too much important for all of you look at this for example this is window client window 10 or window 11 you installed on your hardware client hardware laptop or pc or workstation so remember this operating system takes resources i already explained what is resources resources mean cpu ram rom storage hard disk drives and solid state drives so this operating system take these resources from hardware and distribute among multiple applications okay like let me show you practically look at this my windows 10 client take resources from my hardware and in my hardware there are hardware devices like rom ram hard disk drive and cpu slots so my windows 10 client takes resources from my hardware and distribute among the running applications you can see and also uh, distribute among the round processes the ground processes look at these resources cpu memory ram disk hard disk drives and network so these resources are taken from or from hardware by operating system and distributed among services and applications running on my operating system so this is the particular lab i have shown you so basically operating systems operate the entire system user of end devices for example there are some users who just know about the general terms that how to use the end device so this is known as end user user who use end devices are known as end users again i'm repeating user of end devices user who uses end devices are known as end users but the main who is expert of end devices who can solve and troubleshoot the problems in the end devices so this is known as system administrator men who have expertise about end devices is known as system administrator what is meant by intermediate devices devices which play a key role in the networking between end devices are known as intermediate devices it means that for example there are devices which play a key role in networking in process of creating a network in which we connect end devices for communication so those devices are known as intermediate device because they just forward the traffic not to send or receive the traffic these devices are always kept between end devices these are between end devices okay so lecture 4 is finished now let's start the lecture number 5 but before that if you have any question you can ask i'm coming to chat box you have only 10 seconds to question then you will proceed further If you are clear, you can respond. So I think we should proceed further. You have no question. If you have a question, I will appreciate. You can ask. So let's proceed further and start the next lecture, lecture five. A real life examples of intermediate devices are repeater, multipole repeater, also known as hub, switch. MLS, multi-layer switch, router, firewall, bridge, modem, X point, etc, etc. These are the topics which will be covered lately, not in the board game, which is just of 15 days, which uh, is too much less time to cover all of these topics and other important topics of networking as well. So in CCNA course, we will try to make you clear on, on these points in deep and drive which is some extra course than network essential network essential is just basic course in CCNS after the network essential so operating system of intermediate devices like we understand in the previous lecture that uh, end devices definition and devices real life examples so now we understand what intermediate intermediate device definition intermediate devices example you also know that we have also discussed about what operating system of end devices so now we are going to 
discuss about what operating system of intermediate devices these are operating systems of intermediate devices which belongs to different vendors or companies like cisco juniper microtik huawei microtik operating system for your intermediate devices are known as router os router os mean router operating system cisco operating system for their intermediate devices are known as ios internet network operating system the juniper operating system for their intermediate devices are known as jonas jonas means juniper network operating system huawei operating system for their intermediate devices are known as versatile routing platform vrp is a short form of versatile routing platform so this is lecture 5 it's too much easy now let's start lecture number 6 expert of intermediate devices like uh, we discussed about the expert of end devices so that is known as system administrator so now let's discuss about the expert of intermediate devices so man who is expert in intermediate devices is known as network administrator okay so i think there are some question in the chat box remember proxy is the intermediate device and vpn is the service installed on the top of the operating system like for example on windows server on linux you can install vpn as well but remember that uh, there is another vpn like ipsec gre tunnel and networking like mpls vpn p to p vpn overlay vpn site to site vpn remote access vpn so these are networking vpns okay let's, let's proceed further and as a question is what is ui what is a ui but before this let me tell you something else Now I'm going to show the roadmap. Look at this. Network administrator is the main who control what? Who works on intermediate devices because he have expertise so if you want to be expert in intermediate devices and want to work in the job in production environment and you want to be expert in all these intermediate devices and you want to work practically so what is the way that you sh after that course you would be network administrator you would be expert in intermediate devices and you can work in the production environment so i will i will suggest is first of all work on network essential then work on ccna after these two courses you would be able to work on intermediate devices you will be you will be expert in intermediate devices and you will be a network administrator and you can do a job of network administrator in enterprises in production environment so this 15 days boot camp is about what network essential so if you cover this 15 days boot camp and you work on this really you submit assignments etc so it means that you understood this 15 days bootcamp which is about totally about network essential network essential means network basics for the beginners who want to come in IT field and network administration field so after this bootcamp your network essential part of course would be completed for free of cost then she sent a spectrum training of two to three months then you can do also this training and after this you will be network administrator and expert in intermediate devices basically theoretical and the basic section is clear in network essential and the routing switching etc is clear in ccna the latest portion the many labs are performed in ccna which is the course of cisco of associate level and system administrator main who works on end devices is known as a system administrator and devices mean servers laptops etc for example 
in production environment you know that there are too much servers to control to manage to access so to control those devices there is a man known as system administrator who is expert in those servers the server operating system linux operating systems windows server operating system so there is known as system administrator so if you want to learn the roadmap so let me show you the first thing is that uh, I've shown you about network administration that how you can be a network administrator. Now let me show you that how you can be system administrator. So let me show you. These are the two courses, but you should choose one if you want to be a system administrator. Yes. Why? Because these are separate courses and both are used for system administration. And in both you can start from beginning. If you don't know about system administration but the thing is that i would suggest to start from the rhcsa not from the mcsc because mcc is microsoft training and rhcsa is red hat training red hat is the company of linux and this is microsoft is the company of window you know that so if you work on mcc then you will be system administrator and you will be expert in windows server operating systems and that is almost used very less in production environment. No one use Windows, etc. And because there is GUI base, and RHCSA is the course. If you work on that course, then you know you will be system administrator, and your job opportunity will be increased. Why? Because in this course you learn Red Hat Linux, and you know that when you learn, learn Linux, then Linux is operating system which is same for client devices as well as server devices. So you would be expert in both devices. But in MCSE, you would learn Microsoft Windows Client for client devices and Microsoft Windows Server for server devices. So that is difficult, I think. And this is easy because you will learn just one operating system known as Red Hat Linux and you would be expert of client devices as well as server devices. So that's why this is, I think, good for you. And you know that Nowadays, in production environment, in all over the countries, in all the, over the world, you know that in production environment, more than 70% pe people, I think, use the Linux operating system for their servers, for their clients' devices, not the Windows. Windows is used by the general users, end users who use the end devices and don't, don't know about the commands, etc. They just click, click, click. So, that is. The kit kind of thing so i think i would suggest that if you want to be system administrator then start with rhcsa let's proceed further and only 10 minutes left to end the session if you have any question you can ask in chat box okay i will come Sir, you didn't share the presentation screenshot in group. Just paint screenshot. Please also share our presentation. Also, I love your wonderful resources, full of information. I didn't pick up this point because I've shared all the materials I've taught you during the lecture in the WhatsApp group. So I don't know that of which thing you are discussing about. I can show you the folder as well. Yes, these are available in WhatsApp group. You can check this. Look at this. These are all materials and I think there is no material that I haven't shared in WhatsApp group. All materials is available. You can ask the questions because we are going to end the session meanwhile in 10 minutes, I think. So let's for proceed further. The next question is what is UI? UI stands for user interface. This is interface through which user interacts with nodes. Nodes mean device. Like, uh, for example, you bought device from market and you want to interact with the device. You want to use some kind of applications for the specific tasks, like for network simulation. You want to perform networking labs on Cisco Packet Tracker. So you should buy a laptop from market. So UI means that the interface with, with which user interacts. To that node for example i bought laptop and i want to interact with this laptop i want to perform some specific task 
So there should be an interface through which I can interact with the laptop. So that is known as UI, user interface. It means that user can interact with that interface to their laptop. Like uh, you are watching my screen now. Okay you are watching these words so this is also ui user interface because our, our users you and me are interacting with this screen are interacted with this, this screen if this ui this user interface is not available how you can interact with this, this screen how our session can be possible further so this is the best example there are two types of ui cli gui so there are two types in the world with one is known as cli another one is known as gui so if someone asks me now that uh, you gave us example that this screen is now a user interface. So if someone asks that this is which one, there are two types of UI you said, CLI and GUI. So this is which one? So the answer is this is GUI. Because GUI means graphical user interface. These are graphics. These are graphics. To click, click, click. Look at this. To click, click, click. You can work with this interface of laptop. Of end device so this is GUI in CLI you don't click you just give command so I'm not giving command to proceed further I'm just clicking you can watch it so this is GUI let's discuss about CLI and GUI in detail what is CLI CLI stands for command line interface let me show you write CMD and what and search box and click on that so this is you can click 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 this will not work look at this you are just here you are not here by clicking so that's why you should just give command then you can proceed further okay so this is CLI but this is GUI look at this through GUI you can change your screen because you can just click not giving command these are graphics it is a type of interface used by user to interact with the system through commands line by line. Yes, you can enter commands line by line, not by jumping from the one line to another, like I am showing you now. What is GUI? GUI stands for graphical user interface in which we use graphics. We interact with the graphics by clicking to mouse. Mouse is a pointing and input device. It is a type of interface used by user to interact with the system through graphics and by clicking on any icon etc. I think it is clear now. What is most common UI of end devices? Like uh, I talked about end devices, laptop, workstation, PC, mobile phone, iPhone, Macbook. These are end devices, server. So what is the user interface of these devices? Yes, it can be changed. It can be CLI GUI because these are two types of UI, but which is most common? So the answer is GUI. Like how? Let me show you. Let me come to the point where it is and show you the result. Yes, here it is. I was searching for this. Look at this. These are in devices now. So the question is that what is the user interface of most common end devices so look at this linux window linux window linux window and door back one so one two three four five five operating system are of which user interface gui graphical user interface and one two three these are cli command line interface so the most Common UI of end devices is known as GUI, graphical user interface. I can prove this. Like how? Windows is GUI. Yes, Windows is GUI. Windows is GUI. Android is GUI. iOS is GUI. Mac OS is GUI. But Linux is the one which is CLI. So you can check here that the most common used UI is GUI of the end devices. Now let's proceed further. What is the most common UI of intermediate devices? It means that, uh, let me show you, and just copy the tracer. Practically, then you will be clear about this question. Because if I will say what is most common UI of intermediate devices, CLI, and I will proceed further, and I will talk about something else, then you will say that I am not understanding on this lecture. I will not join in the next session. So let me make you clear about this point. Practically, then you will understand what I mean by this. 
Let's wait for the Cisco packet trace to be opened. We just five minutes to finish the lecture. I think we should finish today with lecture six up to here, and we should start from session four tomorrow on 15 December 2022 on Thursday from 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. from lecture seven. So let's discuss this and end the session. And you can ask the question. I will come to the chat box as well. Packet tracer is now opened. Look at this. This is what router. Go to router. What is this? C line. Command line interface. This is the router now. Router is what intermediate device. So we said that most of intermediate devices, of which user interface C line, command line interface. This is what this is the Cisco router. So Cisco router. We also discuss about Cisco routers. That the Cisco router operating system is what iOS, Internet Network Operating System. So this is what this is the typical example of Internet Network Operating System. This is iOS. And this is also like Linux. Command line interface. You do command, and through command, you can interact with this router. You can configure this router. Okay. These are some protocols which which we can apply on the router. So this why we can interact with the router through commands. You cannot proceed further by clicking. You can just press enter, then you can proceed further. So. This is the iOS. Look at this iOS command line interface. The iOS is Internet Network Operating System of Cisco intermediate device like router, and it is based on which user interface C like command line interface. I have shown you what practically. So that's why we said that the most common user interface of intermediate devices is known as C like command line interface. This is the router example. Let me show you another example of intermediate device like switch. This is switch now. Look at Look at the switch C line. iOS. This is Cisco switch. Of which model? The model name is what? Two nine six zero. And this is which one? iOS Cisco switch operating system. iOS Internet Network operating system. And what is the user? UI user interface. Command line or graphical user. Command line interface. By giving commands, you can interact with this. And we are switch. Which model is what? Two nine five zero, which is Cisco switch. Its operating system is iOS, Internet Network operating system. And remember that through commands you can interact with this what switch, because it is iOS, Cisco, Internet Network operating system. For its intermediate devices like switch, 2950 model and its user interfaces, command line interface, C line. To command, you can interact with this session, with this switch. Sorry, with this switch. So that's why to configure this switch, you should learn these commands. So this is command line interface. So that's why we said that most of intermediate devices have which one operating system? Sorry, which one UI user interface? G line or G line or C line? C line. Because to command interact, so this is it for today. To lecture six, we have finished. Now let's come to the chat box and take questions. Then we will finish the lecture. And if you want to quit the lecture, quit the session three. You can quit now because we have finished now. Now let me take the questions now. What is a person with MCSE plus CCNA card? So if you 
complete MCC course, you would be a to administrator. If you complete CCNA course, you would be a network administrator. Simple as that. But if you complete both, then you would be a system and network administrator. Okay. Sir, your presentation by Sir will say lecture four, five, six, not here in the group. Okay, let me check it. I think you are talking about this. Actually, we have covered up to this lecture, lecture six, and we will start from we will start from lecture four today. What is operating system? So that's why this is the today workload. So I will share it today. I haven't covered it yet. So that's why I haven't shared because you would be confused if I will I will share it in advance. So that's why that is the reason. Okay, no problem. Some intermediate devices so uses arms for GUI. Yes, some intermediate devices. But the main concern is that question was what is the most common user interface of intermediate devices like uh, of mostly intermediate devices which user interface is used so the answer is c-line like in g like uh, in end devices the most common ui is known as what gui but it doesn't mean that uh, all end devices have gui i haven't said that i i said the most most mean that the mostly used so the mostly used is gui but c is also used linux is also used in end devices as well okay so yes you're right system engineer system engineer means who works on the system who works on the end devices who works on the servers who works on the clients yes that is right i think you haven't any questions so i should close the session let me give you the 30 seconds to ask then i will close the session because time is up Okay, what are the characteristics of operating system? Yes, I also described about the operating system. Now I'm repeating that characteristics of an operating system. Operating system just operate the system. This is the system software which interact with the system. How? Like it takes the resources. I have told you about the resources in deep and dive like RAM, CPU, ROM, SDDs, SSDs. So these resources are took by what operating system from hardware and distributed among multiple application so this is the characteristic of operating system next question if you are clear then you can say clear then i will quit the session i think because there is no confusion among all of you that's why you are not asking either but if you have any question you can ask i will appreciate Clear, sir. So thank you so much. We will meet in next session. Bye till tomorrow. We are clear, sir. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. Goodbye.